Okay, today we're going to change out a water pump on a 1995 Chevy Tahoe 5.7 liter 350 throttle body injection. Here's the new water pump. I went with Murray, just the standard there. There's the truck we're going to do it on. All right. All right, there we go. Probably going to have to... Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take off this fan shroud. Okay, right here. So behind all that, you have the fan. And you can see right there, those little studs right there, that's the bolt. So here's, that's the bolts, the studs to the, uh, to the water pump. Water pump's right behind that little shroud right there. So we're actually going to be taking those studs, putting them on here with a uh, with a stud extractor. So this should be a fun video. I'm going to learn a few things. Okay, first things first. To remove this fan shroud, we're going to take out four bolts. One, two, over on this side, three. And four. Okay, well, it looks like that one's missing. So <laughs> one's already done for me. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Actually, it would help if we also removed that one, that one, and that one. The whole thing should pull right off. All right, I'm just going to use a 10 millimeter bolt, a 10 millimeter socket, and get all those out. All right, so I got the top ones off. So now. Go in there with a nice little extension there, and just, just pull right out. All right, all the bolts are out. Off comes the fan trap. over here kind of helpful right there too get that fan belt rooting when you need it because we gonna have to pull that off so let's set that right there okay so now we got that off <clears throat> there's the fan okay and what you'll notice is when you turn this fan around see how these blades are close together and then it gets far apart and then close together and then far apart, well, those far apart ones, those are the ones that are going to allow us to reach these nuts right here on these studs. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all four of those, and then that'll allow us to pull this fan off. These are the studs to the water pump, which is right behind this. So let's go ahead and take this off real quick. Okay, so these nuts right here, they're 13 inch. If you had a ratchet wrench, That'd probably be the best, <laughs> um, but I don't. So what I'll do, if your clutch works, then while you're doing this, this should uh, stay in place. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, yeah, and they're not on there very tight. Like There you go. Watch your fingers, though. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and take those off, and then I'll get back to it. Okay, as you can see, I got all four of those 13-millimeter nuts off. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to, uh, you know, manipulate the tensioner pulley. We're going to take that belt off. All right, so I ran into a little bit of a pickle. My tensioner pulley is stripped, so I'm actually going to be replacing that. I had to go old school. I got it out, pulled the belt off, just going to... Kind of inspect the belt a little bit, but you know, this truck's old enough. I'm probably just going to go ahead and replace the belt as well. Okay, so now we got the belt off. I just checked it, belt's good. You just want to check it for like little cracks and tears and stuff. It didn't seem to have any of that. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of 
jiggling this old fan off here. It's got some rust built up there. Right, there's the fan, there's the clutch. So that seems to be pretty good right there. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to take off the housing. Right there. Okay, good. Now we're at the water pump. Okay. okay, so now we're down here at the water pump. Okay, there it is. There's our four studs. Okay, so we got four bolts we got to take this off with. One. One underneath there. Two. And kind of a mirror image on the other side. Three. Four. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and pop those off. Okay, so I just got an extension with a 14 millimeter socket. Okay. And they're not in there that tight. All right, next, I'm going to pull that lower radiator hose off. All right. There, I'm just going to squeeze those and pull that puppy off. I don't want to a lot of grime built up there. Got all the bolts out. Got all the bolts out of there, so that's good. Alright, one, two, three, four. Okay. Alright, let's check. Alright, right, this ain't the world's greatest advice. I'm obviously not a mechanic. But uh, anyway, so I got that hose off and kind of went everywhere but you know I had a bucket underneath catching it so you might be able to see it there way in between there but anyway so that thing was pretty on there pretty rusted out so I'm just kind of just giving it not on the studs but just on the old one just kind of loosen it up a little bit okay. let's see if we can break her loose there we go Okay, we still got that thing connected in there, so we'll see what that is. We just got to get that out of there. All right, now we're taking this guy off. Okay, uh, I found out the hard way. You might just want to, this thing's in there pretty tight, eh? So you might want to just go ahead and take this thing off before... Um, you unbolt them before you unbolt the, uh, the water pump. Make your life a lot easier. <laughs> All right, there we have it. There we have it. There's the old one. All right. Okay. All right, there's the old one. Okay. That's generally where they leak out of right there. Okay. There's the old one. Oh, yikes. Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty bad. So we're going to do some scraping before we ever put the new one back on. We do got to take these little... We take these little studs and put them on there. Wow. We'll have to tighten those up a bit. Usually they don't come off that easy. I'm also going to change out the um, <clears throat> the uh, cooling system connector. Um, basically, I think it's probably time for a new one. All right, well, that's what we got. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to go have to get in there and scrape all that, clean that up, clean off the old gasket and whatnot. And yeah, definitely have to clean that up. All right. So I scraped off all the old gasket there, kind of cleaned it out the best I could. Put 
did the same thing to that one. Cleaned it up the best I could, but either way, it's set for a new gasket, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off and replace that, too. Alright, there's the old quick connect right there. This one right here, pulled the guts out of it. Now I'm going to put the new one on right there. Alright, your new water pump might come with one of these caps. Um, they're in there pretty tight, so you have to get it off somehow. Anyway, got that off. I'm going to put my new quick connect in here. And then I'm tighten it down. All right, got that in there, threaded in nice and tight. Okay, we're now ready to grab the new gaskets, put them on there, stick her back in. All right, now I'm gonna put some uh, Loctite on these threads. All right, so now I got all those bolts back in. All right, nice and Loctited. I'm just gonna go ahead and set her back in there. All right, got those cleaned up little spaces. Got the new part on there. I only got one hand, so, you know, just make sure this part, the lower radio hose, radiator hose connector, is on that left side. Okay, the water pump's back in there. I'm pretty sure there's some torque settings to be done on those bolts. Um, bottom line is, but it's all the way back in. I'm going to have to undo this little nut back here so I can get that hose back in to the uh, quick connect but yeah so basically it's a matter of all i gotta do is put my belt back on hook that lower radiator hose back on and uh she should be good to go i do think i think i got uh replaced my tensioner though so yep that's about it hope this helps remember um when you do a job like this, you know, do it at your own risk, right? I'm not a mechanic by any means. So hope this helps and uh, yeah, uh, leave a like and I'll see you later.